Uh, I like the record. It's good, and I'm enjoying the fact that you're rolling it out one track at a time for people to hear. Mm -hmm. um, favorite song so far, I think, is Mirrors. Mirrors, yep. Got a good riffy song. Yep. Um, but they're only available, these songs are only available for a short period of time before you just put them in the player, right? Yes. Why? Uh, I don't know. We just thought it would be we're doing a tour that's the exact length of the free downloads. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'll just put it back in the player. And when, when you do post it, that's not for a download, it's just for a listen, right? No, it's for a download. Is it? Yep. Oh, Absolutely go, free. All right. Well, when I go upstairs, I'm going to go get me mirrors. I'll buy the record, too, though. It's no okay. promise. Is it, uh, is it, let's just back up a little bit. Is it a little fair to call you uh, like this senior member of the Toronto indie scene? Uh, you can, sure, if you take out the indie part, just because I'm, I'm not a huge indie rock fan. So well, Okay. When you say... Like, when you, I mean, I always think of indie music. Like, you know, like the, a type of music. That's the problem we're having with that word. It's kind of yeah. like alternative. Yeah, exactly. Which started being used for one thing. Yeah. And then it got co-op for something else. Yes. Entirely. So can we say Toronto independent music? Sure. That's better. Sure. But you, you're right. I mean, the whole, uh, the, the idea of indie has been co-op. And, and there's, there's an indie sound, an indie look, and an yeah. indie everything. Exactly. Which, which I mean, okay. we're more of a rock band, obviously. More of a rock band, yeah. yeah. But okay, back to you, though. You are one of the senior members of the Canadian, Toronto specifically, independent music scene. Sure. Uh, are we coming up on 20 years? Uh, 30. 30, no, 30 years, yes. early 80s, right. Yep. Wow. First record, 82, so. So next year. Yep. Good Lord. Yep. So that, it's time to retire. <laughs> that was Change of Heart, right? The first, yep. You know, change yep. of Heart, then Blutonia, and then? Bionic, Bionic. Montreal, and then. And then now we're on to, on, on to come on. Yep. Um, you, I, I noticed that you've let a lot of Come On stuff sort of lapse into history. Right. If it's uh, sold out, it's sold out, and it doesn't come back. Is that by design, is that a, uh, or is that by economic reality? Um, it was kind of by design, because we, we put out a, we have a, a thing that we sell at the, the, the merch table, and it's just everything that's been lapsed. And uh, so it's... We oh, only, so you have we, to go to the gigs to get that stuff? Yes. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, so we've always put out, we've always had something on the table that you can only get at shows for whatever, the last nine years. And uh, last year we compiled them all into one. It's called Compilation. Compilation. <sighs> I think it's a bad joke. joke. That's a natural. But yeah, I mean, we always feel that, you know, people coming who spend their hard-earned cash coming to the show, they should be able to get something that, you know. That you can't get anywhere else. That you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, that else. makes yeah. sense. And again, it's good for you guys because it, uh, you know, encourages people to come out. Yeah, and also keeps the creativity flowing in between records. I mean, sure. we've always had an EP in between every record, so. So, you, uh, um, Beyond the Pale Horse, you also have a, a vinyl version. Yes. And that's only 500 copies for that. Yeah, and it's almost gone. And so. that's, that's a nice big, thick 180 Yeah, gram. 180 gate folds, like old school. At the gigs only? Uh, no, you can get it from, yeah, right, records from London, Ontario. Okay. They do a lot of vinyl rock if in Canada. Now you're doing a, there's a 10 inch EP that's coming. Yes. And uh, I, I just got my radio head ready right. today. They were just talking about and it. And it's, it's kind of cool, it's, it's a neat size. It takes you yeah. back to the, the 78 RPM record, which was 10 inches across. Why did you do 10 inches? Um, well, side A is a 12 and a half minute song, and uh, we just thought that's the perfect format for it. Uh, because that's about all that you can put on that's the side about, of the 10 inch. Actually, it's a little bit beyond, but yeah. So let's, let's talk about this. 12-minute song. What's it called? Uh, the Mountain. Uh-huh. Yep. And uh, that's a bit beyond what you usually are known for? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's pretty out there. In fact, there's at one point in the song, there's two versions of Come On playing against each other, like two drum kits, two basses, 25 guitars or something. Really? Yeah, it's pretty weird. It's kind of a tribute to Piggy from Voivod and Gary Moore from Thin Lizzy. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's strange. And then you have this uh, this film that you're doing, or have done, or no, what is it? Uh, a soundtrack. Oh, well, the soundtrack to Lloyd the Conqueror. Okay, I, I yep. don't know anything about that, so explain. It's uh, Brian Polson, you know, uh, uh, one of the two gay guys on the Sarah Silverman show? Right, okay. The metal guy. And uh, it's about LARPing, which is live action role playing. And uh, it actually has bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys in it, and it's these three LARPing dudes get bullied by another LARPing dude, and they, uh, they take them down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, live action role playing, you'll have to... Like Dungeons and Dragons, but live. Oh, okay. So I've, I've never actually played, but I believe you actually roll your move or something. And, and then you have to do it physically? Yeah, yeah. 
LARPing. It's called LARPing. Yeah. See, I've yeah. learned something. LARP, okay. Yeah, so we cribbed all the words. All the words from the song are taken off YouTube videos of live LARPing. Okay. And so it's, we no, laughed. We have to look this We up. laughed our asses off doing the vocals, needless to say. So um, what kind of words are we taking in? Oh, we're carrying the hammer of Lucifer past the gates of Jericho, that kind of stuff. Wow. I mean, they asked specifically for a metal type song for the, uh, for the, the movie. So. Okay, and, and, and that's not coming out on vinyl or tape? It's or coming out on a flexi. Okay, now, <laughs> now, w earlier on we were talking about you coming in. I said, yeah, I mean, come on, has got this flexi coming out. And I got all these blank looks. What do you mean a flexi? Yeah. Could you please tell these people? Well, it's like a piece of paper, but it's got a seven inch stamped, or stamped onto it. Right. Yeah. And, and they used to have them on the backs of cereal boxes when I was growing up. That's true. You know, the, like the Honey Sugar Bears. Uh, I, used to have. I had a Bobby Sherman one. Bobby don't, Sherman. Don't ask me splits. One. Right. Yeah. And I think there was a Barbie one at one point. I'm sure with, there was a Barbie. There must have been. Must have been. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, they also came in the pages of magazines. Yes, which is how this is coming. Mad Magazine used to do it. Yes, Mad once. Magazine always had a flexi in it for a long time. Yeah. Right. And like guitar player. Right. How, how to play guitar. Right. Like, oh. I don't know. See, I'm not Jeff crazy. <laughs> I'm, 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 no, it's a real thing. I, I have a... I guess uh, we're older, though. There was a, 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 a Bloom County compilation. Oh, really? And it was uh, Opus the Penguin. I think it was uh, Dr. Tongue and the... Whatever. It was some death right. the doctor. Whatever. And, and there was a... It exists. But why a flexi? Um, it was actually, um, we have this friend, Don, who runs Saved by Vinyl, Saved by Radio, which is a label in Calgary. And we're going out to play Sled Island. And she basically chose three bands from, we're not actually signed to her, but she chose three bands that she'd put bands, records out by. And uh, they're all coming in Beetroot Magazine oh, this, that's this cool. month. So how many copies are going to come 2, out? 2,000 of each band. Instant collectors so, at Yeah, and so Forbidden Dimension, I don't know if you know who they are, from Calgary, like f probably almost 30 years, they're going to be one of them, and Camp Radio from Ottawa. Wow. Yeah. See. Okay, we'll have to get she's one. Very, uh, she's very, she's an awesome woman. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know, I understand that we're living in a, in a very digital age, but there's something kind of cool about having something quirky and analog. Yeah, and it, it's such an off-the-wall idea at this point. Uh, flex, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's not quite as weird as a cassette. No, but... Cassettes are so trendy right now. Oh, that, that's well, there's crazy. all these, these cassette-only labels yeah, now in the no, UK and Los mean. Angeles. Yeah. And, New York. And there's one here, too, uh, and I can't remember the name of it right now. You know, I, I had a cassette that I had to get something off the other day, and uh, I have it set up in my little studio at home. I couldn't remember how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sit there and go, oh, yeah, I have to open the door. And it goes like this, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just weird. I still use Porta Studios, so I guess I guess I'm used to it. Um, now let's talk about. Come on, uh, bands in, in great shape, obviously. But mm -hmm. you're here. Katie's in New Orleans. Yes. How can that not be a problem? We don't look at it as a problem. We look at it as like a bonus because we don't have to do one-off shows or weird things. We just when we tour, we tour. When we're done touring, we're done touring. We just go back to your respective back corners back and that's it. Yeah, exactly. How about when we, it comes to recording and uh, writing and recording? Um, with the last record, like Beyond the Pale Horse, we recorded the bed tracks in Victoria. We did overdubs in Toronto, and then I went to New Orleans and did more overdubs there and then brought it back. Oh, that's good. Sent it to Vic Victoria. I mean, obviously, without having, you know, dealing with no tape makes it a lot easier because you can just ship it over the... Yeah, put it up on an FTP and yeah, exactly. you're pretty much done. Send space or whatever. Um... I've heard talk about a solo record. I put out a solo record and then I deleted it. Um. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm easy to deal with, <laughs> um, but I re-recorded it. Part of the reason I deleted it is because I was playing with this band called Huron from Hamilton. Right. And we're called Happy Endings. And uh, we re-recorded the whole record um, live. And so that'll, I don't know when that'll be out. It's probably soon. Okay. And yeah. the solo record is... Forever gone. Uh, we're going to probably put that in with the vinyl of the record. So it'll be two versions so of the same. you're a marketing same. genius. You have all these I don't know off. if it's a marketing genius. It might be idiotic, actually. But <laughs> and mm. uh, Sean Good from the Sadies. What Sean you, Dean. Dean, sorry. Yes. What, are, what are you doing with, with Sean? Uh, we're just, we have a hardcore band. We don't have a name yet, but we're supposed to record tomorrow. Wait, but I the guy from the Sadies is in a hardcore band? It's full-on black flag. Yep. Well, I guess you can only be mellow for so long. Well, he used to be in flight camp. Okay. Know, do you remember that? Band? Yeah, I remember Control? them. Yeah. yeah, they were they were pretty post, just post hardcore. Yeah. Well, okay. 
You know, you can't play country all the time. Well, no. You get depressed and, you know, have to go out and buy a pickup truck or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pickaxe. <laughs> And I, I have to ask the status of uh, Change of Heart. I know you did the uh, the reunion show a couple of years ago. And is that uh, was that just a one-off thing? That was a one-off thing, yeah. yeah. That totally. was a North by Northeast thing. Yeah, it was North it? by Northeast, right. and they offered us great money. So why not? Okay, so let's just, I, I want to summarize here. So we've got the Come On record, Beyond the Pale Horse. Yep. Uh, we've got this uh, post-hardcore outfit with uh, Sean from the Sadies that doesn't have a name yet that's going to come soon. Yep. Which will uh, just be a seven inch. Just so, a seven inch? Yeah. Okay. Then we have the flexi for the LARPing thing. Yep. See, again. Yep. Um, the 10 inch. The 10 inch. For, which actually comes out in a couple of weeks. And that's the 12 minute song. What's it called? Yep. Uh, the Mountain. And with, there's also an Osmonds cover on there. Too. A what? Osmonds. The Osmonds. Well, like, as what, in what, what? Crazy Horses. Do you know that song? No, I know One Bad Apple. It's, he it's a lot heavier than One Bad Apple. Okay, you just used Osmonds and Heavy in the same sentence. If they made heavy records. Okay. You look it up. Look I, it up. I'm going to. What, yeah. what the song was called? Crazy Horses. Crazy Horses. Okay. Yep. Uh, probably some obscure B-side or something, right? No, it was a hit, actually, in, uh, I believe, in England. It's okay. the band playing on it, too. It's like the whole family, and it's their mind-blowing band. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll check that out. Got the flexi? Oh, no, we talked about the yep. flexi. What am I missing? 10 inch. The, no, we, no just, we just talked about, about that. that. The, uh, North by Northeast. Yes, what are you doing there? Uh, opening for Off, which is a member of Black Flag, the rich, one of the original singers. Right. Um, I don't know if you've heard them, but they're great. No, I haven't Great yet. hardcore band. They've put out four seven inches, and there's like four one minute songs on each seven inch. <laughs> they're just great. I, oh, I love I that. I doubt they'll play more than like 18 minutes because I don't know if they'd have the tunes. It's one guy from Red Cross, too. Okay, so 18, okay, uh, so yeah, they'll probably play what, uh, 14 songs in those 18 minutes? Yeah. And probably. that's with, sta with, with, with stage patter, too. Yep, which would probably be awesome. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Have we covered it all? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, but you're doing producing, too, aren't you? Yeah, I produce. So uh, anything, well, you've done Weaker Dance and a few other bands? Yeah, I've done like actually 100 records. Um, really? That yep, many? Yep, that's what I do for a living. Um, so th that's your day job? That's, that's my day job. That's yeah. how you put money on the table, yep. really? Yeah, more or less. Uh, what, you've got anything interesting lined up? Um, I just did a band from Edmonton called The Get Down that are really good. Mm -hmm. They're a hard rock band. Um, God, I can't think of what else I'm working on right now, which is terrible. You got that much? Well, you've got that much got that much I have stuff four on the records on the go right now, so I'm kind of... <sighs> the Mercy Now. Do you know The Mercy Now from Toronto? Yes. A, they're an excellent band. I did their record, too. Okay. Well, um... Thanks for coming. Thanks for having <laughs> me. <laughs> I've, I've, I've learned. Okay, I've learned about LARPing. I've learned about. A, um, I've learned about a, a, an Osmonds thing. I learned about. Uh, we've taught these people about flexies. Nice. This has actually been very, very. Uh, should do this once a week, and we'll. You know, you get any anybody want to know anything about the old days of analog? Come on, anything? What do you call those things that you put in the center forty fives to, to, so they can play on turntables? It's called forty five adapters. See. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I still use one when I DJ. There you go. Yeah. Well, good to see you. Thank you very Looking much. Looking forward to everything. Make sure we get a copy of that 10-inch because I want to hear that, uh, uh, that dueling come on yeah, thing. I'll definitely drop one by. All right, thanks. Awesome, thanks. Explore Music wears English Laundry Apparel.